morning everybody we are in Mexico and today is a very exciting day because it's warm outside I'm away from Montreal I'm away from Canada's cold and I am doing a photo shoot this morning the weather is beautiful the sun is out the ocean is blue totally what I'm looking for it's perfect are you with me thank you for looking at my little productions and thank you for joining me and don't hesitate to go on the bottom right corner and press that look button and subscribe to my channel so today we're shooting with Eric and we're doing outdoor shoot because in Montreal we can't really do that it's way too cold and I don't want to be in my bikini in my backyard in the snow I don't want to be in the snow period so I have a very particular idea in mind that I want to create this morning and as a well-behaved Capricorn I am going to give the photographer my instructions. I'm also an artist and that's what I do. I have a very precise idea in mind of what I want to achieve as a shot, what I'm looking for, the angle. So of course I'm gonna have the photographer get wet and dirty the same way I'm getting wet and dirty because it's by combining our forces that we're going to be able to create the greatest content or at least the content that I'm looking for. All that for your eyes of course. I really hope you like it. So we're shooting. It's not necessarily evident to have the right pause to work with the lighting because you're not in the eye of the camera. So it's not like you're in front of a mirror and you say, oh yeah, this position looks really good. So you have to really go trial and error. But by experience, you have a little bit of an idea. And when you're looking for a shot, you have to work in collaboration with the photographer and tell him, listen, man, you have to get up on the ledge. Come on, do it. Yes, do it, do it. That, yeah, that's right. And now we're actually going to be able to get that shot that I'm looking for. And yes, it's going to be a very flattering bomb bomb shot because today the bomb bomb is being appreciated and celebrated and this is great. I wish I knew that as a teenager because as a young girl, the fact that that bomb bomb was round and perky and up there it created a lot of grief in my life. I was very, very uh, uncomfortable and criticized and people said, oh, you're so fat and, and blah, 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 because of the bomb bomb that was there. And um, little did I know that it would be the key to my success as an adult, funny enough. I wish I knew that as a young girl. I would have felt a little less um, insecure about my appearance yeah insecure is the right word and now it looks good at least I could enjoy it a little bit and voila the shot in question that I was looking for now I'm looking for something else I want to be laying down and I want to look like comfortable, like I'm just relaxing in the sun and we're looking for the best angle and that's not the best angle. So let's go on the other side and let's work it out. That's right. And that's the shot. I really like this one. I love that bikini too. Available in my store, fashionablebrat.com and now we move to the beach so shooting outside is always a big dilemma because you have to fight the element i will apologize for the camera being crooked um uh, i'm sorry i didn't see it before 
and uh, it's basically because the camera is lying on the lounge chair on the beach and uh, voila so I'm sorry about that so here we go we're starting with the poses and again I'm going to explain the photograph a little wide and in order to get that shot that I'm looking for I'm walking down the beach making pauses effort and checking back if Mr. Photographer thinks it's good with the lighting and everything so let's do it again so posing and being static is one thing but um, you also have to take the um, how can I say that you have to to move you have to move and you cannot stick in one pose thinking that that will look good and stay into that pose so you have to move around and, and let your body be and try to relax in your pose in order to get something more natural here we go something more um we, we say candid um it's always best of course this is part of shooting there's always people on the beach and there is always the wind and the sand and you want to try all kinds of things and sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't work and it does feel really awkward to shoot when there is people around you because you have to deal with the judgmental looks and also looks of disapproval of other people uh, looking at what you're doing because when you're shooting you have to pretend to be basically pretend to be the hottest thing that walks the planet because it's the intent you need to give in the picture to transmit like a good energy and voila the people so yes so voila so you need to have that intent so it's not only the posing it's also the energy you give and you have also to understand the lighting a little bit because it's the light that will flatter you or unflatter you because sometimes when you look really bad in a picture it's not necessarily because you're not photogenic it's maybe because you just didn't understand how to place yourself for the light according to the shot you want to take so I why well, try this pose and as you see I'm turning my back to the sun and um, also I didn't choose um, one of that series of picture because when I looked at them on the screen it, it didn't look good on on picture so in order to have like one two three four or five good pictures in a photo shoot which is a lot in one photo shoot you need to shoot a lot of picture usually um, I shoot for an hour and a half we have about a total of 200 and 250 shots and in those shots usually i get four four picks that are good it's it's a very very small ratio 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 excuse my french uh, again in the water we see all those shots in magazines and stuff like that it looks super easy looks super simple but the reality of the matter it is really 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 difficult because first of all you get wet and there is wind and there is movement and and you don't know if the light hits you properly but anyhow um, you have to try you have to try all kinds of different things and sometimes you think that um, sitting down in the water is better but 
then and then you have people passing by and looking at you thinking you're like a crazy person and you think you're they think you think of yourself as a princess they have all kinds of opinions anyhow which I'm not by the way I'm a very grounded person I'm very approachable yes I'm shy I'm also um, how do you say I'm not comfortable with large group of people that I don't know and I appear to be a little bit standoffish because because I'm very shy that's the reality unless I'm on a stage then I'm okay because I don't know I'm in control I guess so anyway so here you go and then you think you're just walking around and then you get the best candid shot ever I love it I love it in color but I think in black and white it pops out even more so you're very lucky because I have not published these pictures and I kept them for you subscribers of my channel and viewers because I wanted to give you a little spoil. Um, again, we're reaching the end and uh, of this vlog. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned a little bit more about me and that you're getting to know me a little better. And um, please subscribe to my channel, give me some thumbs up, write some comments. If you have questions, I would love to hear them. And I would love to answer them as well. I'm very communicative. Um, yes, that's that. So again, I'm very grateful that because of you, I am able to do what I love. And I love to share. I love to travel. And I love to have you as an insider eye into my world. So here's some, some extra shots for you that I really love.